you expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. Oh, blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Oh, blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Oh, blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you, Jesus, I trust in you. In you, Jesus, I trust in you, Jesus, I trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O oh my Jesus, I now embrace the whole world and ask you for mercy for it. O oh, inconvincible goodness of God, you showed us at every step. May your mercy be praised without cease. All our trust is in you, our firstborn brother, Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Be glorified now and forever. Amen. Dear beloved of God, I welcome you to our today's meditation on St. Faustina's Diary, The Divine Mercy in My Soul, and today we read and listen in St. Faustina's Diary number 1728. I read, The Lord Jesus told St. Faustina, Write, my daughter, I am thrice holy, and I detest the smallest sin. I cannot love a soul which is stained with sin, but when it repents, there is no limit to my generosity towards it. My mercy embraces and justifies it. With my mercy, I pursue sinners along all their paths, and my heart rejoices when they return. I forget the bitterness with which they fed my heart and rejoice at their return. Dear beloved of God, in the words of the Lord Jesus Christ, through Saint Faustina, the Secretary of Mercy, he speaks to the world today, to you and to me. In these beautiful words, with my mercy I pursue sinners along their path. My heart rejoices when they return to me. I forget the bitterness with which they fed my heart and rejoice at their return. What words of hope! The Lord Jesus calls my attention. He calls your attention. What is that that holds me captive? For me, it brings a chain of questions and calls for an effort, knowing that he understands us. He's always grounded for me and you in the Blessed Sacrament. Am I brave enough to sit with him, speak to him about the inclinations of my sinfulness and seek his grace? Am I finding it hard to detach from a sinful habit, from a sinful inclination, from a sinful addiction? Do I feel that my sins are too far heavy to win the forgiveness of God? Dear beloved of Christ, he tells me and you that he is pursuing us along our everyday path and his heart rejoices when we return to him. What the Lord needs is a surrendered soul, a soul that recognizes that I am a sinner, I am miserable, I am vulnerable to sin, but a soul that is determined, that is surrendered to his grace, a soul that is hungry and thirsty for the Lord. 
he whispers in my ears and in your ears today, that I forget the bitterness with which the sinner fed my heart and I rejoice at their return. Am I drowning in self-pity, in a troubled conscience because of sin? He tells us, courage my daughter, courage my son, return to me and I rejoice at your return. I want to pray today for myself and for you, dear beloved of God, for the graces we need on our everyday journey as we strive against our sinful inclinations to see the Lord Christ on our everyday journey, pursuing us with his mercy, hearing whispers of love, whispers of hope, whispers of mercy that is incomprehensible in which ocean every drop of sin vanishes. May your mercy be praised and adored, O oh Lord Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. Passion of mercy.